Hello, I'm always me team. Welcome to my channel. I hope you stay for the duration of the video. If you know what song I'm singing in the tune of Coming Down Below. Now let's get into this video. So let's get into the topic. Now. Today's topic is the misconceptions about charter schools. Now, I can't speak for every charter school because I have not went to every charter school, but as of right now, I go to a independent study charter school and I will tell you about my experiences. Now, the reason I want to do this today, this video, is because I was on Twitter. I'm usually on Twitter a lot. If you want to follow me on Twitter, like, you can reply to me. I'll definitely reply back. I like, I like Twitter. I go on Twitter pretty frequently. Like, I don't usually tweet often, but today, I saw a tweet by Bernie Sanders, and it was, here's the thing. Now, this kind of just kind of bothered me over the reaction and the criticism because I usually hear this a lot when I say charter school but here's the tweet charter schools are led by unaccountable private bodies and their growth has drained funding from the public school system when we are in the White House we will ban for-profit charter schools now I really like Bernie Sanders I think he's really cool I like I like some of his policies but this just kind of bothers me just because, one, I'm in a charter school. Two, not every charter school is like this. So I had tweeted, well, nonprofit nonprofit charter schools will still be okay, right? And some of the replies, <laughs> I was like, uh, great. So here's a lot of misconceptions because there was... The first lady that tweeted me, nonprofit charter schools just means they pay their execs so much money that they have no profit left over. And I get that a lot because one of the, I got some stuff written down. <laughs> now, one of the things that I usually get is when you say a charter school, like, oh, you go to a charter school and see mine is a little bit different because it isn't, there's charter schools where you can go every day and see, I pick my own days and my own hours. So, and it's independent study. So it's a little bit different. So it's just like, do you pay tuition? They just automatically assume that you're rich. This charter school that I go to, most people are below the poverty line or just at the poverty line. Like most people don't have it like that. Just cause you go to a charter school, it's not like, and it's just, it's just kind of weird. Draining the system. Let me tell you what a charter school is. Let me give you the exact definition. Alright. It's just kind of like weird because it's very like common misconceptions like this. Just because there are for profit charter schools doesn't mean every charter school is a for profit. Doesn't mean every charter school is should be automatically banned. Like we have enough going on. And you know what? They offer proper education. Because there's another misconception like they don't deserve to be accredited. Like, charter schools deserve to be accredited because I'm doing the work. I'm still able to do all this. You know, not everyone has the same experience. And first of all, I really don't like regular public school. I haven't had a good, I don't have good experiences from a traditional public school. I do not want to go to a regular public school until I like until I go off to college that's when I'll go back into a more traditional setting and this setting really helps me because it's very independent so it's very much like I'm on my own but I still get help and it, it you know it helps me like okay like help me with the with my transition into college now a charter school is a publicly funded independent school established by teachers, parents, or community groups under the terms of charter or local 
or national authority. Now, anyone can go to a charter school. Charter schools began appearing in the early 1990s. They're independently operated public schools. Like I said, started by parents, teachers, community organizations, and for-profit companies. There are some people that are, there are some schools that are for-profit. My school is not for-profit. My school was made by a lady. She's still alive to this day. Like I got to see her when we went to her publicly funded women's conference, young women's society conference. And she made this, she is a former teacher and she decided she wanted to make charter schools. She wanted to make big branches for people that are not always, that are economically, like, you know what, you don't always have something to go to or you didn't have a good experience or whatever the case may be. Like, I'm not gonna express wholeheartedly why I went, but at the same time, I'm glad I did because I'm doing way better in school. I'm way more happier within myself and I'm not, I'm not sad to go to school. I'm not crying to go to school. I don't want like, oh my God, I don't want to go to school to the point I would have a fucking breakdown. So it's just Things like that. When you say abolish charter schools, my, like, people that are very close to me don't even want me to go to a charter school. Like, you'll miss everything. You'll miss the dances. You'll miss all this. And it's just, like, as of right now, I'm in high school. And I really couldn't care less because I wouldn't even want to go, even if I was there. It's just I wasn't happy. And I don't even, like, I don't even want to go to high school. I really don't want to go to a normal, traditional high school. Like, I'm perfectly fine with where I'm at now because I'm going to be able to graduate with, what, better grades, mentally happier, and just I feel physically better now. These schools receive tax dollars, but the sponsoring group may also come up with private funding. Charter schools do not charge tuition. Most people get it mixed up with private schools. See, my school, it, from my experience, charter school, we don't have to pay anything. They helped me. They even got me a laptop so I can do work, like, as I'm doing right now, even though I'm not supposed to be doing this video. So, uh, I'm using my phone. Other phone. Not other phone, but I like to call my laptop a phone. Anyway, <laughs> super stupid, I know. But, it's just a lot of people, but it's just... Why, though? Everyone always has a problem with these. They always think, wow, draining the funding? Most charter schools are not for profit. Some schools are. My school isn't. We depend on that because we actually need it. We're a school just like everyone else. We have students just like everyone else. I am a student. I would like to get textbooks and learn because, you know, and it's just like, oh, you don't get a good education at your charter school. Actually, I'm doing way more better than I ever, like, than I was, than I was back then. Even with all the chaotic things, and it's just, like, the best part is I get to choose, see, how my school is set up. I get to choose my own schedule, so I don't have to do, I don't have to be there every day but I get the luxury of getting to choose my own schedule, working with my teacher, even if she has a bunch of other students, I still have that one-on-one -on -one type of feel. It may not be the most biggest social environment, but at the same time, I get to get help from the teacher's assistant. The other teacher's assistant, there's other teachers that can also help me, whether regardless if they're my teacher or not only have one actual teacher on my name, but I have 
everyone else that can help me. I get one-on-one tutoring sometimes that I need. I get a lot more. I have a lot of opportunities above me. Now it is a little bit, I will say, it is a little bit frustrating because a lot of stuff I do by myself, but then again, I'm used to that, whether I was in a public school or not. But at least I get to have my counselor and my counselor, like, they're there for me. They're more there for me than I was at a traditional public school. It is still a public school. There are still things out there. They deserve to be accredited because we work hard. We do what we have to do. We get all the things that we, like, we work hard just like other students work hard. Most schools, because it is a school, most schools, they do run on ADA. ADA is average daily attendance, just like any other school. I'm not sure how it is in every other state, but in my state, that's how it is. Like, a lot of, like, we don't have, fa- we don't have funding. Our, my school does not have funding. We do not have sponsors. We don't have businesses endorsing us constantly. We don't have that. We rely on the state because we are a school too. No matter how you perceive it, we are a school as well. Like unaccountable private bodies. It's just because there's a few bad apples in the group doesn't make everybody, every charter school, terrible every charter school like charter schools do not have to be abolished not everybody that is rich gets to go to a charter school i haven't seen no offense to anybody that has went to my school like i haven't seen nor do i know personally if anyone rich has went to a charter school like to my charter school because i wouldn't know like in the charter schools around me because there's other charter schools near me like they actually help You know, some people just don't like a traditional public school setting. Some people just don't like, like they have their, we all have our reasons, all right? And some of us, we're just fortunate enough to go and seek out a school that is the right fit for us instead of just staying in the same situation or do two situations that, we have to, like, you know, not the most stablest, let's just say it like this, not the most stablest home front or something, knowing that you can still go to that school no matter what. They don't ask you too much about stuff like that. They still, and if they really care, because I've had, to like, quick little segment off, sort of off topic, but when I went, I started going to a charter school in the late summer and because I had to catch up for in like eighth grade. So let me say this right now. And I finished that shit in like three months of all that work. And I did way better than I have since I started going out to school out here because I'm not original. I never really originally went to school in this state, but... I'm not saying which state I'm in right now. I don't know why, but I just don't feel like it. Now. Mm. People won't accept, like, a lot of people won't accept charter schools, but there's things such as magnet schools, which are known to get extra funding. And there's no, no shade to magnet schools, but it's just, like, pick and choose. Why would you, like, oh, that's not fair? Well, then make... Like, when I saw that tweet, it's just like, wow, abolish charter schools. Now, I really like some of his policies, not all of his policies, but some of his policies. And it's like, okay, the new things that you want to do is just, but abolishing good education. I'm like, not every state has really good education, even for charter schools. But at the same time, why not fix the public schools and the charter schools? instead and it's just like wow okay pay for school well not everyone is in that type of situation to get to pay for charter school 
and it's just like there's so many things like there would be times where back in middle school I had this I had missed a lot of days because I didn't want to go to school I had my own I was I was just lashing out I'm gonna be honest I was just lashing out I was not enjoying my home life I was definitely not enjoying my school life at all it was horrible for me I was really upset I really didn't like anything. I didn't want to go home. I didn't want to go to school. I walked right past the school. I couldn't give a fuck. Now, the principal, the vice principal and the principal, and everyone, like, they were like, well, we need you to come here every day. We don't care if you are sad, unhappy, or anything. Like, it was just like, oh, but we need you to be here and be so we can get money for it like so we can get money because they also do ada average daily attendance so it's just like why would i go i don't know it's just it's a safer choice for me it's a safer thing and like a lot of people don't even have that luxury like they really do like my school in particular my branch because there's other branches of like the same school it's just they really do care like even because i had went to a charter school and then I had transferred to another one because I had ended up moving for like the a millionth time and they still remember me and he still actually cares it's just like okay like I get way better education like no shade towards other schools, but I get way better education there, here, at the, at the school that I'm at right now, than previous ones I've been at. Like, honestly, shit that actually will matter at the end of the goddamn day. Like, things that I actually have to remember, like, actual math that... I never really gave a fuck about, but I got an okay grade, and then to the point I really couldn't care less that I messed up my grades, my GPA, that I have never messed up in my entire school career, and I finally got to pick it up, and now I'm even better than before. So I think it's really messed up that people that have never went or never even bothered to look up things such as charter schools like not every charter school is for profit most charter schools are not for profit i don't know where they're getting these statistics at because when i looked it up mostly schools are not for profit there's a lot of no shit there's a lot of messed up things going behind schools that's for any school but you're not trying to abolish you know messed up things in the school system like that hey I mean, I haven't had a teacher strike yet in my charter school. No offense, but all offense. Because it's just like, how are you going to take away something that a lot of people need? We get our education. We all get our education. Most of us graduate early. We're really doing things with our lives. We're really getting help for the future. Even if you don't want to go to college, even if you don't even want to go to uh, trade school or vocational school, they still help you even after you've graduated. There's been people that have came back and been like, oh, my teacher, like, it's just, it's good connections, all right? The nerve of some of these people to really, most people that want to get rid of, get rid of charter schools, you never even see what it's like in a charter school. You never experience anything in a charter school, but you want to get rid of it because you don't know about it. Fix the public schools. Fix the public schools. I've been wanting to fix the public schools for as much as I can, even at this age. Even as a, even as a person under 18, it's just like, wow, okay. Hmm. Well, how about we fix the things that are really important, like proper education, people actually going to school? How about people that are actually eating? You know, kids coming in with no proper washing, no nothing. They haven't 
Like, oh, but you're totally ignoring that. Kids that don't even have a place to sit, they're sitting in the fucking janitor's closet. Because there's so many goddamn people in the fucking school. But, oh, how dare a charter school that is free and that will help most of these children that are at least from my school 7th grade up to 12th grade and they get out three years earlier than they were supposed to because they pushed themselves and they got help that they properly needed. Oh, but you want to get rid of charter schools. Well, how about you actually learn some fucking facts? I may not know everything. If you know more things about it, comment down below. But it's just kind of disrespectful. Like, oh, you must be rich. You think you're all that? No, I... 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 I will be one day. I will be wealthy one day. But as of right now, no. Not in the, not in the slightest. It's just really ridiculous how many misconceptions. Like, there's more. There's more. Like, what the fuck? You guys really think that everyone has to be in the goddamn five fucking percent to go to a fucking charter schools? Charter schools didn't start coming out until the 90s. What the fuck? You know how hard people have fought? Like, my founding school creator, she has fought so fucking hard just to make all these goddamn charter schools to help. Like, she has made so many things within the charter school where, like, different programs helping with the funding. You know, she has put in a lot of money and worked her ass off just to get this school fucking accredited, and people want to take this shit down. For what? To give education for free? To help? The absolute nerve. Alright. I'm done. I'm done. This was a long-ass rant. If you even made it through this, shout-outs to you. Now... <laughs> comment down below you can like dislike i oh well i mean i appreciate it either way that means you watching my videos like thank you so much i'm so glad that you actually bothered to now if you watched all the way towards the end the very very ends comment down below that you did um give your thoughts and opinions on this have you went to a charter school did you experience charter school did you work at a charter school did you I mean, did you create one? I mean, I would love to know. Thank you. Any video ideas, you can comment down below or you can hit me up on Twitter. Like, all right. Thank you. Have a nice day.